those who lack documents will be turned back, said Alejandra Mina, a spokeswoman for Guatemala's Migration Authority. A second group of about 300 Honduran migrants walked along a highway and expected to reach the same border crossing on Tuesday night, activists said. Earlier on Tuesday, Honduran Deputy Foreign Minister Nelly Harath told reporters that the caravan at the border numbered between 800 and 1,000 people. U.S.-bound migrants walk past security forces who are stopping some vehicles carrying migrants to check their documents in Cofradia, Honduras, on Tuesday. Credit AP Central American caravans heading toward the United States have inflamed the debate over U.S. immigration policy, with Trump drawing attention to the bedraggled migrants to try to win backing for his plan to build a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. As a partial U.S. government shutdown reached its 25th day, Trump invoked the new caravan on Twitter to pressure U.S. politicians. Democrats have resisted Trump's insistence that Congress provide $5.7 billion for wall funding. A big new caravan is heading up to our southern border from Honduras, Trump tweeted on Tuesday. Only a wall, or steel barrier, will keep our country safe. Stop playing political games and end the shutdown, Trump has described the migrants as an invading force and sent troops to reinforce the border last year. On Monday, the Pentagon announced it would extend the deployment of about 2,350 troops to the U.S. border through the end of September. Loading television footage on Tuesday showed mainly younger migrants leaving the notoriously violent Honduran city of San Pedro Sula. Some flagged down rides to catch up with the caravan that left the same city on Monday. We're asking them to let us cross on our way to Mexico, said Honduran migrant Oswe Hernandez ahead of the checkpoint guarded by Guatemalan police. The group will likely face weeks of travel to get to the U.S. border. U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen said in a post on Twitter that her agency was closely monitoring the new caravan. Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen has said she is monitoring the caravan's movements. Credit AP, to be clear, participation in a caravan does not grant you a special status or provide you special treatment, she added. About 2,500 migrants from a previous wave of Central Americans who crossed Mexico have been camping in squalid shelters in the Mexican border city of Tijuana. Meanwhile, Mexico's Supreme Court has overturned a law passed in Jalisco State that required migrants to show identification documents to police. The ruling won praise from the country's Human Rights Commission, which considered the law a violation of migrants' rights to privacy. The court said Tuesday that it overturned the 2016 Jalisco law on the grounds that immigration control is the exclusive domain of the federal government. Jalisco authorities had a rocky relationship with the migrant caravan that passed through the state in November on its way to the border city of Tijuana. Migrants complained that authorities dumped them on a highway rather than helping them reach a neighboring state. Authorities said some migrants were unruly. Reuters, APE Immigration Trump Diplomacy